Hello and welcome to our new video where we discuss about the homogeneous functions and regarding Euler's theorems. So first we discuss the what are the homogeneous functions. You already know see in the differential equation which kind of function are homogeneous function. The homogeneous function which have all terms with like powers means if they have three terms then each term having the same degree or same power on that term that is called homogeneous function. Now what is this Euler theorem for homogeneous function? It states that if u is a homogeneous function of two variables x and y of degree n of degree n then x del u by del x plus y of del u by del y is equal to n into u where n is the degree of given function u. So means what is the our Euler's theorem if u is any function of x and y two variables then partial derivative with respect to x multiply with x and it's u partial derivative with respect to y multiply with y when we add these two terms it will give in by degree into whole function u n into u so this is the Oh, Euler's theorem for homogeneous function. This uh, similarly we can standardize it for more degree. If u is homogeneous function of degree n, then we can say one more step and that I will write second order x square del 2u upon del x square plus 2xy del 2u upon del x del y plus y square del 2u upon del y square is equal to n n minus 1 into u so this is the u is homogeneous function of degree n and function is variables are x and y then another relation is if this is for first order this is for second order variables x square del 2 u by del x square second order partial derivative with respect to x there is one time we have to partial derivative with respect to y second time with respect to x there is second order partial derivative with respect to y so it's when we add this it's given by n and minus 1 by u so now how we uh, apply this Euler's theorem for the given problem. Let us see some, discuss some problems. So now we go for some problems. For question one is verify the Euler theorem. Verify the Euler theorem where u is equal to x square y z minus 4y square z square plus 2xz cube. Clear? So this is u in function of x, y and z, three variable. So what is the our Euler, the Euler theorem for this three variable function x del u by del x plus y del u by del y plus z del u by del z equal to n of u. Means we have to n degree of this homogeneous function see degree is 2 plus 1 plus 1 2 1 1 means 4 each term having 4 power like powers so degree of this function is when we find all these terms is equal to 4 of u we will get like that so now we start from here partially differentiate equation with respect to x when we partially differentiate with respect to x y z treating as constant so 2 of x y z second terms going 0 because no x third term gives 3 2 x gives 1 z similarly if we want to find out del u upon del y partially differentiate u with respect to y so 
first term given by x square z y gives 1 minus 8 y z square third term gives 0 no y's similarly del u by del of z partially differentiate with respect to z so z x square y minus 8 y square z plus 6 x z square clear so this is our del u by del x del u by del y del u by del z now next step for verifying left hand side we have to multiply this with x this term with y and this term with z when we multiplying this with x y and z and adding we definitely get four times of our given function you can multiply this and add all these things you will get 4u that is our right hand side hence we verify whatever the Euler set that is true for the homogeneous function now we go for some more example to understand this Euler theorem one more example I can explain you this is with the help of Euler theorem if u is function of x and y given by 1 by x square plus 1 by x y plus log of x minus log of y upon x square then prove that x del u by del x plus y del u by del y plus 2u equal to 0. It means here x del u by del x plus y del u by del y equal to n u means n is our minus 2 means degree of this equation is minus 2. How you have to derive the degree of given equation first solution. So for degree you put x equal to xt y equal to yt when we substitute x equal to xt our equation become x square t square plus 1 by x y t square plus uh, there is log of xt log, the, if we se want to separate separate 1 by x square t square there both t are cancel out so this is log of x by y clear so see if we can 1 by t square taking outside this is 1 by x square plus 1 by x y plus 1 by x square log of x upon y see what is the power of t t is minus of 2 clear 1 by t square means power of t is minus of 2 hence degree of our given equation is minus 2 so we can write from here we can write degree of given equation is minus 2 with the use of Euler theorem x del u by del x plus y del u by del y equal to n u n is minus 2 so it gives minus of 2 u when you do you comes this side this is two, plus of 2u equal to 0 hence proved so this is very simple with the help of Euler theorem some more examples how to solve if we have two given function then how to solve this we have to break in two fun Euler function question if z equal to z equal to log of x square plus y square plus x square plus y square upon x y minus 2 log sorry this is up to here log of x plus y so what is our z z is log of x square plus y square plus x square plus y square upon x y minus log 2 log of x plus y clear so in x plus y so in this case first we have to simplify see this is log x square plus y square then 
x square plus y square upon x y minus log of this is if 2 goes in the power log of x plus y whole square now this log and this log we have to combine so minus is means log of x square plus y square upon x plus y whole square plus x square plus y square upon x y clear so z equal now if we say this is homogeneous function one is u and this is v so z is equal to u this is true for all homogeneous if two functions are homogeneous then their sum is also one new homogeneous function so z is the new function with u and v so now we separately find out the degree of homogeneous function u degree of homogeneous function v then we add then we will get the required solution so we go further now if we want to find out degree of u so same in u function we put at the place of x equal to x t at the place of y we put y t so when we put x t and y t we say t to the power 0 log of x square plus y square upon x plus y whole square because here is t square and here also t square come out cancel out means t to the power 0 only Similarly, if we can go for the degree of v, v we put same x is equal to x t y equal to v t then t square x square plus y square upon t upon x plus y there is this is term says x plus y sorry this term is x plus y so this term is x plus y so x t plus y t gives t of x plus y so 1 t cancel so degree of v degree of v is 1 degree of u is 0 so with the help of Euler we can say x del u by del x plus y del u by del y equal to 0 and x del v by del x plus y del v by del y equal to 1 of v clear now our function z is equal to u plus v addition of these two functions so how we find out the homogeneous equation for the this means z equal to u plus v so del x del z by del x plus y del z by del y is what del z by del x is what del z by del x is del u by del x plus del v by del x if you multiply this then x of this so this plus this similarly x del z by del y equal to x, sorry y so y del u by del y plus y del v by del y second term addition so this gives 0 plus v so solution of this equal to v so what is our v v is x square plus y square upon x plus y so uh, its solution is x square plus y square upon x plus y Clear? So with the help of Euler theorem, we can find out similarly some problems. If u or x is function of sine inverse of x square plus y square upon x plus y. So first you have to take out inverse this side. Means we can say sine u equal to x square plus y square upon x plus y and we can say this is new function z means z z equal to x square y plus y square upon x plus y so next is the degree of this function see x put x equal to x t y equal to y t we can see degree of this function is 1 degree of this function is 1 means x del z by del x plus y del z by del y is equal to 1 of z degree is 1 so 1 of z but our this 
z equal to sin of u so what is in terms of we have to find out x del u by del x plus y del u by del y equal to how much so for this del u by del x is what del u by del x is c here del u del z del z by del x yes del u by del x is del u by del x is del u by del z del z by del x clear so with the help of this relation we can find out the value of del u by del z is del u by del z is what del by del z of u u differentiate with respect to sin u gives cos of u with del cos of u with del z by del x substitute here you can solve this so when inverse is there you can make new function and with the help of that so that's all for the Euler's theorem for homogeneous function of two variables thank you very much